Welcome back to the Energy Talks podcast brought to you by Total Energies. I'm your host, Lillian Wagner, and today we're diving into one of our most exciting renewable joint ventures in Brazil, Casa dos Ventos. Joining me is Carla Cohen, asset owner for Brazil Total Energies Renewables. Carla, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lillian. Thank It's great to be here with you. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to start out with a little icebreaker. I want you to make us a dream about Brazil, what it feels like to be there on site with all of these renewable energy products. Can you do that for us? Yes. Uh, well, uh, Brazil is my home country. And whenever I'm there, there is already this warm in my heart when I get. But in addition to that, for our assets, like, I don't know, for those who do kite surf or windsurf, they already heard about the very northeast of Brazil, okay, where the wind blows all the time and it's very constant and the sun is shining very Just strong. The the uh, yeah, ideal the, vacation spot. Yes, but then we work on where people dream to come to vacations. So that's where some of our assets are. They're located in the northeast. Exactly. So Brazil is like triangular yep. uh, shape. So most of our assets are in this part where okay. we have most of the wind and solar irradiation. Going on that, what does Casas do Ventos mean? And what does it represent for Total Energies? Casa dos Ventos means house of the wind. Okay. That's a very beautiful and poetic name. It's very poetic. I yeah. agree with you on that one. Yeah, but not only beautiful and poetic, it's a very important brand in Brazil. Okay. Whenever you talk about Casa dos Ventos, people know that uh, you're talking with a very talent, competent and very dedicated team there. So everyone recognizes the power of Casa dos Ventos. The JV that we have, it was signed in January 2023. And when we bought, there were 700 megawatt in production. Okay. Today, we have 1.8 8 gigawatt in production of installed capacity. We have already 1.6 gigawatt under the construction and more uh, 4 gigawatt of uh, wind and solar in the pipeline. And in addition to that, Casa dos Ventos also operates our plants. There are Total Energy plants, units that we acquired with the closing of Total Erein yeah. in Brazil. With that, we have an additional 300 megawatts. So. Wow, that's a lot of energy that we're producing in Brazil. So we have a big portfolio to grow in Brazil. That is a big portfolio. Just to give our listeners a bit of context, one gigawatt is about the equivalent of enough energy for 2.2 million homes in Brazil. Can you give us a little bit of an overview on what renewables represent in Brazil? The advantage of this country is that they have a very clean electricity matrix. Uh, more than 85% of the electricity produced in Brazil is already renewable. Well, most of it comes from the hydropower. Yeah. which is about 60%, and the rest is already wind and solar. So this brings a lot of opportunities for us in the country to use these clean energies to transform into other products. That's very impressive. I think one of the numbers that has striked me the most impressive is Brazil is number eight in the world of renewable energy production. I think that is just, it is a testament to the landscape of the country and how um, energy companies have just come and realized that there are a lot of natural assets to make renewable energy with and to exploit them. So can you explain to me a bit about what Total Energies and Casos de Ventos mean together? What is this kind of relationship? How does it work? Can you give us some insight on how you manage your job as an asset owner? Casa dos Ventos is about a 20-year company that was founded as a developer. So okay. its uh, main business was to develop renewable projects and to sell. In some point of time, by 2021, it starts to think about changing its business uh, model to like not sell those projects, but to build, operate, and um, and keep the projects to themselves. But for that, they were looking for a partner. Total Energies is in Brazil for several years. Uh, it's a very strong base for the exploration and production, But it's and it's a very uh, strategic country in Total Energies' strategy. And that's where it comes to a place. Total Energies wanted to exploit uh, all these uh, renewable 
resources in the country and found a very good partner, a local partner with a strong expertise. Thank you very much for the explanation, Carla. I'm sure that your role demands a lot of versatility. Can you tell us more about these big projects and the challenges that you face? The operational responsibilities and the operational management of the projects and the construction is held by the local team. And okay. we trust their expertise on that. My role is to make this marriage between Total Energies and Casa dos Ventos work. Okay. To bring the best of both worlds and get the Total synergies, energy. improve and maximize the value of these uh, JV. So I coordinate the teams that are local with the teams from the headquarter to bring uh, where Total Energy has uh, more experience and can exchange with Casa dos Ventos uh, uh, on solar projects, on procurement, on leveraging our international relationship with different clients to bring this uh, commercial expertise also to the local team. So this is pretty much what I focus on. So we on. can say that Total Energies trust Caso dos Ventos to produce the local energy for the local communities while bringing their expertise on how the renewables really plays into the whole energy landscape of Brazil and all the projects at large. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Like a, a JV, it's a matter of trust. Yeah. And the idea of going to the different, to international places, and especially in Brazil, was to find a very good local partner and trust in its local expertise. That's for sure. All marriage comes with challenges. And, sure. And as you know, what are the challenges that, um, that we see? is to make it compatible, the different personalities. In the case of these, um, of Total Energies and Casa dos Ventos, is to, uh, to integrate different cultures. Like Casa dos Ventos is a very young company. It's about 20 years of existence with a very, uh, a team of uh, 300, 400 people compared to Total Energies, uh, it's a hundred year old yeah. company with more than a hundred thousand employees with established process and decision making process, standards. And at the same time, we have a big road to grow. Yeah. And we want to bring all this uh, experience of Total, but we don't want to prevent the agility of the local team to move forward. Yeah. So these are my main challenge every day is to coordinate the different teams, the different coaches. We have the team in Brazil of Casa dos Ventos. We have teams of Total Energies in Brazil as well with whom we interact a lot. And all the teams of at the headquarters that are here. And it's also talking about merging those two work cultures, uh, a very local work culture and then also a big company work culture and kind of bringing them together. How do you tackle that? Yes, it's a lot of, uh, <laughs> you need to be agile and build relationships. Everything is about relationships, like the relationships that I built here in the headquarters with everyone, the relationships that we build with our local teams of Total Energy. So we also need to bring this team together. So we need to bring them and empower and, and, and make the communication flowing so that every piece can add value to... It's like a little puzzle of value, trying to get all the pieces to fit from everybody and making a, something that's quite impressive in the country. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So when you visit these production sites like Casa dos Ventos, what inspires you the most when you're there? Well, it's uh, to see one of the projects that I visited is uh, Rio do Vento Expansão. It's about one gigawatt of okay. wind capacity. Stop. That's in the north... In the, exactly, in, okay. this, uh, in the part of the, the triangle, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the very northeast, it's in the Rio Grande do Norte state. I won't be able to repeat that, but I completely <laughs> trust you. <laughs> uh, and you see like wind turbines, but all over and the landscape, like it's beautiful, it's green. And we see uh, when we get to the site, we see all the communities around. We see that Casa dos Ventos uh, has the respect and the care for this community, has different projects with the communities, like helps 
supporting local schools and also have income generation projects for the community like uh, more lamp, more eggs, like helping local farmers like to develop their way to have this income and all in the perimeter of these big projects that are bringing energy to this country that just need that much for so this development. we can development. say that the scale of infrastructure and the scaling up of the communities kind of goes hand in hand for these projects. Yes, yes, sure. And that's something that we praise at Total Energies. So finally, when we look at the future of renewable energies in Total Energies, but also Brazil, what are our biggest challenges on the horizon? And what are some of the most exciting opportunities? Um, well, Brazil is a continental-sized country, and one of the uh, the beauty of this is that most of the areas are integrated through the grid for the transmission system. So that uh, helps like building renewable projects where the resources are okay. and bring that to the consumers where they are through this grid. Okay. So this is the big advantage. However, this grid was thought of on a logic where the hydropower plants were located. Now the big challenge is to adapt this grid and the pace of the growth of the grid to the renewable development in Brazil. So we see few challenges on that and that and solving those challenges on the grid will be a big important step for the development moving forward of the renewables. Also, uh, this bring opportunities as well because as uh, the uh, full country is, is integrated through this transmission grid and there is a lot of clean energy connected to this transmission grid, it's one of the uh, countries where we see an important potential for producing green hydrogen. Yeah. Because then the green hydrogen can be produced on, on a constant pace using this renewable energy from the grid. And Brazil can use this strength, like not only to think about trying to export this green hydrogen, but to export green products okay. used with this green hydrogen. And that can be a big advantage and a, a big leverage for the development, for the economic development of For Brazil. the industry in Brazil. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And we are looking uh, into into that with, with detail to see... Uh, uh, these, uh, how this uh, development will evolve. Well, that brings us to the end of today's episode, Carla. Thank you so much for joining me and for sharing your insight on Brazil's renewable energy future and the exciting landscape that is Casas dos Ventos. Thank you so much for having me here with you. Well, to our listeners, we hope you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the most dynamic regions for renewable energy development in the world. As always, stay tuned for more discussions on the future of energy. And until next time, I'm Lillian Wagner, and this has been Energy Talks Podcast. Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm.